too much talent on my left side right now. Last night was incredible. Suzanne Rogers presents Zach Posen. It is the fashion event and fundraiser. And sitting on the couch right now, we have Canada's supermodel, Coco Rocha, who serves up sass like no one's business on the runway. We have got fashion designer to the stars, and we all love you to death, Zach Posen, and fashion icon herself and philanthropist, Suzanne Rogers. All of us. Completely sleep deprived, yeah, but you know what? It is. Deprived. That's okay. <laughs> Thank you for being here. You were dancing when I last left you. Literally, all three of you. We did you sleep dancing, at all? Yeah. yeah, we were dancing to raise yeah. dollars for an incredible charity. Which we did. And grand total. 800,000 net. Net. Incredible. Net. Yes. And all of those proceeds going towards Boost. Tell Boost, us about Boost. Um, Boost is the child abuse and intervention prevention program that I really help support. Um, so the majority of funds will go there as well as the um, Holland Blue Review Children's Rehab Hospital. It will serve them very well. And yes. you've really enjoyed your stay. I was lucky enough to interview you yesterday morning and, you know, follow you throughout the day and into the evening. What did you love most looking back? Because this is really the end of a five-month-long journey for you with our cameras there surrounding yes. you. It's part of a documentary that's coming up in the fall on City. This is it now. How does it feel being on the other side of all the preparation? I'm sad. It's oh. over. <laughs> Um, it was wonderful last night. I had a blast with Suzanne. She is the hostess with the mostess she and is. the gracious uh, energy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we put on a really spectacular show of my fall collection. Let's take a look at some of that. The runway viz was absolutely spectacular. I Those actually are said sunglasses, earlier, amazing. cashmere suiting. I was saying, honestly, it felt like a, a concert, like a rock concert as opposed to a fashion show. I wanted to get up and dance, and I think that's you the best have. thing. <laughs> they would have kicked me out, Zach. But honestly, the feel of it was just beautiful clothes, you know, art in motion, and such a fun vibe. Coco, you always bring that. Talk to us about why you wanted to lend your celebrity as a supermodel to Zach's show. Uh, well, I, you know, he, he asks, and he doesn't even have to ask. Uh, he's the only designer that I've actually done every single season since my first season. And uh, that's not just because of the great clothes, but he's just a, a great friend. And of course, coming back home, I, of course I would be coming and doing this. And uh, I'm excited for him. And the one thing I remember you said last night when we came off stage, he was like, there was a standing ovation, which of course we all say, yes, there should be a standing ovation. <laughs> but not necessarily back home. It's just we, you know, when you do a show, you do a next show and then you go to the next show. Not necessarily just stopping and realizing that was a beautiful night to remember. And uh, when you led the, the standing ovation, I was very a proud little sister for, for Zach to, last night. So proud. So proud to be part of this and bring this to bring this to Toronto and bring that added glamour to Toronto and to that and to Canada. A true celebration, uh, beautiful gowns, and the dancing did continue. Coco, I enjoyed this very much. There was these silent bids. And in an attempt to raise that money for charity, you kind of showed up, you know, a la Kanye West, and I'm went, like, I'm gonna oh, grab Kanye this microphone, West. I'm grabbing it, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something great is gonna happen if you up your bid. I don't know what that is, this is what you were saying, but it's gonna be amazing, and it worked, and you offered up a dance to yes. Liza Minnelli. Yes, Liza came on, <laughs> yeah. New York, New York. <laughs> right? We just discussed this this morning, we're like, we gotta get this dance routine a little better. <laughs> we're gonna rehearse next time. Yeah, it's gonna be better, guys. It was fabulous, and it Thank worked, you. and it was so much fun, and I think that's what people want. They wanna celebrate, they wanna dress up, and they wanna yeah. give back. There was right? such great buzz in the room, such great buzz. Everybody had a great time. You could feel the energy, yeah. and fashion should be gracious yes. in that way. Fashion should be a positive message about beauty, about femininity, about womanhood. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I'm really proud that I'm able to use my talent and craft and energy uh, and dancing skills yeah. sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you need high to dance. kicks can work sometimes <laughs> to raise funds for incredible Those causes. Those legs were real high. Those for him. were good legs <laughs> and tight pants, and you pulled it off. Good tailor. Good. Very, I was terrified. I kept saying, "I'm like that is a good <laughs> tailor." It's funny you say that. Would you ever consider designing, you know, an entire men's line? Oh, I'd love to make a men's line. Yeah. I make everything I wear every day, head to toe. And uh, you Don't know, you have like a secret compartment because of this whole documentary for your microphones. I do. Now. I have, you know, like an English tailor, and you have different like secret pockets. I have different pockets for different mic packs. Well, how did it feel? Because you know, you are a judge on a reality show, fashion reality show. How did it feel to be the subject of a reality show? Well, I don't live the reality on Project Runway. That's the show I'm on. Uh, 
you know, I, I'm on the judging part of it. Right. So it's not documenting my life. It was an inc incredible experience. Uh, I've been very private about my uh, work process and my studio, which is what is most sacred to me. And I really uh, hold it strong that it's like that. And I let uh, the crews in, gave full access. It was an incredible collaboration. They have home videos of me from a little itty bitty kid, uh, you know, through my life with friends that have been part of this process. And you get to see my team and the camaraderie and all the hard work and love and funny moments. And you get to see everything. Yeah. And uh, the journey that uh, fashion Tainment and, and the Zach Posen brand goes on. I like that fashion tainment. <laughs> That's great. We're going to be back with more BT actually with all three of you. If you can stick around now that you're oh. up and looking so fabulous, we have to maximize <laughs> this. Quick commercial break. We'll be right back with three fashion icons right after this.